What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing the Generation 9 Pseudo Legendary Baxcalibur. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, let's go get on top of that. Do me a favor, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button. It really goes a long way. Plus, you guys can stay up to date on all of my content, considering we upload every single day over on this channel. But this team right here was actually used to get first place, or I should say rank one in this game. A lot of teams are starting to get rank one, considering multiple different people can get rank one. But this team was another team that was used to get rank one. So if you guys are looking for a cool Bax Caliber team, I got you guys here. But gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator. Link to his channel will be down in the description below. And I will also have the Poke Paste shown there for you guys as well. So I know you guys like your Poke Paste. I know a lot of you guys ask, whenever I don't have the Poke Paste, you guys are like, yo, jeans, where's the Poke Paste? I got you this time. It's right down in the description below. But we get started here with today's team preview, starting off in that top left corner with the one and only Murkrow. And Murkrow has been phenomenal in rank so far. Just really good, considering it is one of the only Pokemon that has Prankster and Tailwind. It's got Focus Ash as its item. It's Rock and Foul Play, Tailwind, Taunt, and Haze for its moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Golden Go. And I used this Pokemon in my previous video and absolutely love this Pokemon. Great special attacker with a Life Orb and its ability good as gold. Then it's got Nasty Pot to set up. Make it rain for heavy stab damage. Shadow Ball for another stab move. And final move is going to be Protect. Middle left and our third Pokemon is going to be Meowskarada over here. Meowskarada is insanely strong, especially due to its ability, Protein. So we can change typings, get the stab damage boost on top of that, and kind of just roll out strong. This thing has a choice band as its item, so pair that up with Protein, we can do some crazy damage. We got Flower Trick, U-Turn to Pivot Out, Play Rough, and Sucker Punch for its four moves. Fourth Pokemon is going to be a support Pokemon. It is going to be Mousehold over here. Mousehold is really strong in double battles, considering it has Follow Me and Friend Guard as its ability. It's got Citrus Berry as item, Follow Me like we already mentioned for its first move, and then it's got Encore, Protect, and Population Bomb for its other three. Bottom left hand corner is going to be the man. It is going to be Baxcalibur over here. I love this Pokemon so much. I think it's super cool, and it can hit like a truck at the same time. It's got Thermal Exchange, so it does more damage when it gets hit by fire moves. And on top of that, it can't be burned. Then we gave it the Clear Amulet as item, so its stats cannot be changed. It's got Glaive Rush for its Stab Dragon move, Protect, Ice Shard for Stab Ice move, and Sword Stance to set up that attack boost. Final Pokemon is going to be our defensive boost, Gargleknack, and this might be my first time using this on the rank ladder, so definitely going to be fun trying out some new Pokemon, cannot wait to rock out with them. He has Purifying Salt as his ability, Leftovers to recover HP at the end of every single turn, then it's got Recover, Salt, Cure, Protect, and Wide Guard to protect us from double hitting moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder, look to get some wins with his Bax Caliber team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Dragapult team with Volcarona, Grimmsnarl, who's probably there for support and setting up screens, also rocking the Magnezone, and then he's got Gyarados and Gargleknack. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like Murkrow is going to be a solid lead for us. We could take Tailwind Control. It also has Foul Play if he wants to bring in the Dragapult, and plus Foul Play just does a lot of big damage onto physical attackers. So I might go Murkrow here. Murkrow alongside with, or I can just go Baxcalibur and Miascarada. Not too bad, but Murkrow's just solid. I feel like Speed Control is going to be so big for us. I could also... No, I cannot taunt. That stinks. I cannot taunt the Grimstrow, considering Prankster sure doesn't work on Dark Types, but I kind of like this. I kind of like this. I do have Haze as well. Doesn't Haze take away all, like, screens and stuff? Let me see you, Haze, real quick. Can I even read this stuff? Can I not read the moves here? That is whack, but we're going to go in the Murkrow anyway. I feel like Murkrow is just a solid lead. I might lead Bax Calibur here as well. If you want to set up screens, I can set up a Swords Dance to kind of get after the battle that way. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So I'm going to lead them too. I'm going to be in Choice Band Miascarada in the back end. And then either a Golden Go or my Rock Guy. And I'm kind of leaning towards the Rock Guy. Rock Guy looks like he does some work. That might be all about him. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Let's bring, in, let's bring in the Rock, dude. Let's bring in Gargleknack. I haven't used him yet, so going to be a lot of fun. Going to definitely be a lot of fun here. Let's see how, who he goes into and how he leads this one. Because I feel like their opponent has a lot of different options. But I got to read Haze. I know, I'm pretty sure Haze takes off like spikes and stuff. Or it might just be stat changes. I'm not too sure. I'm going to have to read up on that. I'm going to have to read up on this. But let's see. He goes Dragapult alongside with... Uh, alongside with Grimmsnarl. And I feel like Screens is just an absolute must that he's going to set up. So I might just go here and... I just want to check out Haze real quick, just in case he sets up screens. Let me see what Haze does. 
Can I not check out what he says? Can you not check? I mean, I guess I could check it out from here, right? I can go here and go into info. Just creates haze and eliminates every stat change. So it's only for stat changes. So um, I think I'm just going to drop a foul play. I think I might just go for Swords Dance. I might just go for Swords Dance. My problem here is if he uh, goes into... Uh, I might just protect this turn. Do I protect or do I go for the Swords Dance? I'm going to go for the Swords Dance. I'm going to say the Dragon Pole either dips out or like protects or something like that. Nope, he just drops Draco Meteor. Wow, I'm dead. That one hurts the soul. That one definitely hurts the soul. Rough call for us. I I, I could have sworn he was going to protect or something. Thinking I'm going for a Tailwind and just setting up that way. But I guess Bax Caliber dies in one shot. But my boy Murkrow has his back. My boy Murkrow has his back. Murkrow is ripping up here. He's going to go for a Spirit Break. I'm fine with. I have the uh, Evo Light. Should be able to soak. Cool. Actually, do I have Sash? I have Sash instead. The last Murkrow I used had the Evo Light. So good thing I did have Sash. So I can still set up a Tailwind here. Uh, Miyazaki Rada could come out here, but I feel like, I feel like we bring in Rock Guy. I feel like we bring in the Rock Guy. But I'm so surprised that he did that to me. I could have just taken him out. I could have just taken him out. And this is a solid play for us. We're going to bring in the Gargle Knack. We're going to be able to uh, have the Rock ready to go. And that is so rough because I legit could have just dumped onto the Dragon Ball. I could have Tailwind, dumped on Dragon Ball, and went from there. Could have been simple, easy play. But I'm going to Tailwind at this point, And I'm just going to go straight for the Salt here. Right into it. We're not playing around. We're not playing around. He could actually Terrasilize here. We'll see. And I feel like the Gyarados is going to Terrasilize. I feel like he is. That's rough. We tried getting back to Elber out here in battle number one. He gets absolutely ripped into. But good thing my boy Murkrow has his back. He's going to Terrasilize here. Is he going to, yeah, Terrasilize the Gyarados into what typing? Into grass. Okay. Salt is still going to be able to do some work. And he's just going to go from there, probably drop the water moves, or maybe even a Terra Blast Grass. We'll see what he wants to do. Gripstrong goes for a Fake Out turn two? What's he doing? Dude's crazy. So he tries to go for a Fake Out. I don't know what he's doing. And we get a Tailwind up behind our team. Terra Blast can come through here, and who are you going after? My Gargle Knack, probably. Yeah, you should be able to soak this up, correct? Yeah, all day. Good work, buddy. Good work. Salt here going to poke through here. We're doing some damage, but on top of that, it is lovely because the Salt Cure constantly does damage all around. Plus, we have Leftover Shown here. And I think if I can protect this turn, I can get enough HP to go for Recover next turn. And just slowly start dealing some damage to this uh, Gyarados. So I'm not too worried about this uh, Grimstone. I really am not. I really am not too worried about this Grimstone. So I'm just going to protect here. I'm going to get some HP back. And I'm just going to slowly play out this battle. Slowly play out this battle. But yeah, it's tough because in the beginning I made a I made a read and the read was just off. And I feel like since I'm in a lower tier right now and not really pushed up through the master tier yet, I feel like making the uh, reads are like not the good play. Because usually you want to make reads off of like good players who like know what they're doing. But I feel like this guy, I'm not saying he's not a good player, but he's going for fake out two turns in a row. It's not working. It's not working. When he has the upper hand on me as well. Waterfalls can come through here. We're chilling now. We're chilling now. We are chilling now. So I'm able to block that one. My leftover is going to pop here again. My Murkrow outspeeds that Gyarados. So I can go for a foul play. And then I can just Salt here onto the uh, Grimstone here. But Salt is really good, yo. Gargle Neck. Real deal. He's a real deal. I'm going to go for a foul play again. Salt here over onto this Grimstone. And I feel like we're thriving here. I feel like this is just light work. I feel like this is just GG's. I'm surprised he went for the fake out twice. The fake out twice. If he goes for it the third time, I think we're going to give him the win. But <laughs> we'll see. That play is going to fly here. Garrus is going to get taken out. And we're going to go from there. We are indeed going to go from there. But I definitely want to get back to Calibre out here in battle number two. Let's see how he plays one. There's the Spirit Break. That's easy eats for us. We soaked that up all day. And I'm going to set up a Salt here. Nice, lovely little Salt here. And then I could protect again, get leftovers. Or I could go for a recover. It really depends. I mean, I get off another Tailwind, which is huge. Which is really big, because Tailwind's going to end, and then we can just prankster set it up again. But his final Pokemon is going to be his Gargle Knack. I'm totally fine. I have my choice. Choice band. Uh, what is that Pokemon even called? I don't even need a... Uh, I don't even need to... What's it called? I don't even need to set up a Tailwind. But I have my choice band. What's it called? Miyasuka Rod in the back end. 
Just terrasize it in the grass, get off some big damage. This match is pretty much over. It's pretty much over. This thing's ripping with Sucker Punch. I could have went for a Tailwind. Sucker Punch coming in hot there. Can you Salt Cure a Rock Pokemon? I'm curious about that. I'm curious about this. Considering it's a new move and I never used it before, I don't know too much about it. I want to see if we can set it up in Salt Cure. Oh, you can. You can Rock, you can Salt Cure a Rock Pokemon. He's going to do that. I'm going to just Protect next turn and have my Miascarada get some work done. Miascarada coming in hot here for the win. For the win, this thing's also rocking leftovers. I'm totally cool with it. We're just going to Thrasilize and kind of get after his battle. Should be pretty much GG's. But he's being salt cured, which I love. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Both Pokemon are actually being salt cured. Oh, and now my Tailwind's gone? I thought my Tailwind was gone last turn. We're chilling, though. This is a light work battle. Light work battle. Because right now, I'm only in rank 4. I haven't played off screen. I've just been playing while recording. And just been really going up from there. But I'm just going to Thrasilize here. I'm just going to go straight into the Flower Trick. And then I'll just protect you, or I'm just going to recover. I'm just going to recover, to be honest. Get some HP back. And just roll off from there. But yo, Gargo next? Really solid. I've been I've been reading up a lot about him. And trying to get my knowledge up on him. And he is really good. His stats, his defensive stats, and everything is really good. And his move pool is phenomenal. Especially going up against physical attackers. You can salt cure him. Use leftovers, protect to recover HP. Recover to cover HP. And kind of just keep constantly going out from there. Plus, this one doesn't have it though. Uh, it learns Iron Defense, it pluses defense by two stages, and just body press and smash out everybody. Flower Trick comes through though, takes out the Gargle Knack and says, Hey yo, get on out my house. We dump on that thing. He goes for a Spirit Break, which we're able to soak. Thank God we changed typings. And we're kind of just going to roll off from here and say GG. Look at this, yo. Lovely little recovery. You're not taking out this Pokemon. That's his problem. He can't take out this Pokemon. We win this battle regardless. We can recover all day. We can leftovers, get our HP back all day. It's just, it's just too easy. It's just too easy. You can't go for a Sucker Punch right now. But I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to go for the uh, Salt Cure. And just constantly put up some damage onto him. Flower Trick comes out here. I think this KOs, right? I think this KOs with the Choice Band damage. Masquerade hits hard. It does KO. There it is. GG. We start off today's video 1-0. Let's hop to our second battle. Try to get Bax Calibur out there and actually use him this time. Second match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves another win here. And like I said at the end of the first battle, we got to get Bax Calibur out here and showcase him a little bit more. Considering we tried to make the hard read, thought that maybe he would swap the Dragon Bolt, considering we could have just Tailwind and dumped on his uh, Dragon Bolt. But he ended up not doing that, so kind of hurts. And just Draco Meteor taking this out. But this guy's rocking three electric Pokemon with Kilowattrel, Raichu, and Jolteon. And then he's rocking Garchomp, Orangaroo, and Gardevoir. Okay, um, I feel like Mercury's just solid here again. Mercurio's just good all around. I know he's rocking Fake Out with the Raichu. And electric moves can do me dirty. But actually, we could go into Mouse Hold and Bax Caliber, Which I'm kind of leaning towards. Set up a Swords Dance, maybe? If he goes Gardevoir, I could Hard Swap. Maybe into, like, Golden Go. And then have Miascarada in the back end, which I'm really liking. I'm really liking these four. But hopefully he doesn't go Gardevoir as lead. Because I would love to be able to set up a Swords Dance and kind of just roll off from there. Really, really powerful Pokemon, especially when you get Swords Dance set up, considering its uh, attack stat is so high. Let's see who this person leads. That first battle wasn't looking too good for us in the beginning, but we made up for it. We ended up grabbing ourselves a win, and we're we're staying hot in this game. We've been playing good on recordings. We got Kilowattro and Raichu out here, and I just think a Follow Me right now is going to be solid for us. He can set up a Tailwind. That's totally fine. I'm just going to set up a Swords Dance and go for a Follow Me. That's how I play all day, and then I could Encore into the Pokemon, but I'm just going to Swords Dance here. He's, he gives me no reason not to Swords Dance here. He's going to go for the Fake Out, and he Fake Outs my Mouse Hold. That's fine. Let's see what Kilowattro is doing. Tailwind. That's fine. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Swords Dance is going to come out here. And, hmm. Do we think he's Sash? Do we think that, that Kilowattro is Sash? It could be Cover Cloak. But I think we just go for Follow Me here. We just protect this Pokemon, and we go for a nice, lovely little Ice Shard here. It's going to be super effective. And now we got Bax Calibur out here, Sword Stance. Plus two. Plus two. Ice Shard flying here. Stab. Doing some crazy damage. Bringing it down to the Sash. And I was going to double down into that Pokemon. But I guess we'll do it next turn. I guess we should do it next turn. He goes for a Discharge. Lightning Rod Raichu. That's a smart play. We know Raichu's not rocking the uh, the Sash. Which is good. And they're going to double Discharge. Is that Volt Absorb? No, come on now. Chill on me. <laughs> He's going crazy. Discharge coming out. So follow me does nothing. Follow me does nothing. Here's a citrus berry rolling. Um, 
I feel like we just Ice Shard again, take out the Kilowatt roll. And then Population Bomb, I guess, this slot, right? Makes the most sense. Makes the most sense. He might even protect that thing. And he doesn't. Cool. So Kilowatt roll goes out. See you later. Get it all out my game. So we dumped that thing. Ice Shard with first from Priority is rolling strong for us. And this charge is going to fly, which Mouse Hole should eat. Oh, yes. On two, baby. On two. We get parried, but hopefully we can get off this Population Bomb. Come on now. Come on now. Yo, this game doing me dirty. This game doing me a little too dirty. This game doing me a little too dirty. It's going to go out with Jolteon. And I believe Jolteon is faster. I mean, I could just see him constantly going for discharges here. Kind of hurts the soul. Um, I could protect the mouse hold. But I kind of would rather... Actually, no. I would rather waste out Tailwind turns at this point. So I'm thinking of just protecting the mouse hold. So how many turns left in Tailwind? One. Actually, yeah. You can go down at this point. One turn left in Tailwind already? That seems weird, doesn't it? But no, it makes sense. Uh, I guess I'll follow me just in case. I mean, I think it's just a double discharge kind of play. But just in case, we're going to do that. And do I Glaive Rush and get rid of somebody? I could get rid of Raichu. I'm just going to go for the Ice Shard in the Raichu. We're doing a lot of damage with the Ice Shards. And the first turn priority is really good. So I don't want to Glaive Rush here. Because then I take double damage. Let's see, Ice Shard's gonna fly here, and this thing's doing crazy amount of damage with that. This charge is flying, it's gonna Lightning Rod boost. Kinda get after the battle that way. At least Bax Calibur's just soaking these discharges. I'm all about it. So this guy's just discharge spamming. I think it's the only move it kinda used besides Tailwind. Yeah, he's just going after. Is that Voltum Sword? What is this? <laughs> what is this? We're just soaking out here. We are just soaking. And of course, he gets to paralyze. Of course. Here we go, guys. Paralyze is going to do me dirty. But Bax Calibur is doing a lot of work right now. Sword Stance up. Um, I could choice into a Protean Soccer Punch. Could be good. Could be really good. I'm going to go into... I'm going to go into Miascarada. I'm definitely going into Miascarada here. I'm going to throw out this Pokemon. Miascarada. Really cool Pokemon. Um, I could Terrasalize straight in the grass and go for a Flower Trick, which I'm kind of leaning towards. Yeah, let's do it. Might as well. And just Ice Shard and finish off this Raichu. I'm all about it, dude. Ice Shards are flying. Ice Shards are flying. After we got that Sword Dance up, we're sitting good. We were sitting so good. But I don't get, like, this dude's team comp. Just spam Discharge? I guess. We moved up to rank 5 after that last battle, which is solid. We're, we're, we're constantly get, climbing the ladder right now. Raichu's going to go out here. And I feel like the more we've been winning, the uh, higher we've been going. Like, he just boosts us a lot more. He goes for discharge again. Do not paralyze my Miascarada. Come on. Yo, I said don't. I said don't. <laughs> I said don't do it. Jolteon's going to lose some HP due to Life Orb. And we do get off the Flower Trick, which is huge. And this should take it out, right? Miascarada hits hard, especially when it's Terrasalized. Yeah. Get out of here. It's a guaranteed crit move every time, too. So we drop Jolteon. It's lovely. And pretty much GG's, right? He's going to send out Gardevoir. I get the Ice Shard, that thing. And as long as I'm not paralyzed, it's, it's game. It's game. So I'm going to go here. Flower Trick. Not a Glade Rush. We want to go for Ice Shard. This little lovely Ice Shard. And he's going to Terrasalize. Terrasalize coming out here. What typing are you, Terrasalize? Probably Fairy, right? It's gonna get that fairy boost. Yeah. So fairy boost coming in here. I'm not too worried. I still have Goldigo in the back end, which is this Pokemon's the reason I brought in Goldigo to counter it up. My shard's gonna fly. Ice Shard's doing a crazy amount of damage with Sword Stance. And Dazzle Gleam's gonna come out here. Take out my Bax Caliber. Miascarada eats up. And again, as long as I'm not paralyzed, it's GG's. It is GG's. And yo, yo, what? I can't stand this game, man. <laughs> I'm paralyzed. I'm paralyzed, so I can't do anything. We're just going to throw out Golden Go. And I wish I could choice into Sucker Punch now, but it'd be like that. We're just going to Flower Trick. We are going to pop into a Make It Rain. And is this 100% accuracy? Yeah. It is 100 accuracy, and that's game, set, match. Gleam's going to fly here. Should be able to soak Golden Go all day, baby. And yeah, this is light work. Light work in a can. My boy Golden Go coming in hot. I love this Pokemon so much, especially its design. Just straight gold, cool Pokemon. That didn't really like Gimme Gold, but when you evolve it into this Pokemon, come on now, it looks amazing. 
it looks amazing but battle number two goes to your boy we're sitting at two and oh we can hop into a third and final battle look to use max caliber again and grab ourselves a perfect record Final battle for today's video coming at you guys. Looking like we're going up against a Trick Room team, so I feel like my boy Murkrow with Taunt has to come in here as a lead. I don't care about any other Pokemon right now. Murkrow's coming in here, but we're versing Torkoal, Oranguru, Garchomp, Sylveon, Annihilate, and Indeedee. Okay, I mean, if it leads to Indeedee, it can kind of just counter up on my Taunt, which could be annoying. Oranguru might get the lead. Mm, right? Oranguru might get that lead. I might go me ask about it. Just see U-turn pivot. Gotta bring in the rock Pokemon in Trick Room, and then final Pokemon? Huh. Gotta go back Excalibur, right? I'm liking back Excalibur. I'm really liking it. I get that they have the Sylveon and the Garchomp. And Golden Go could be solid, but I just like back Excalibur. Such cool Pokemon, and I'm kind of using this team to showcase back Excalibur because I know a lot of people like it. So we're gonna look to grab ourselves a win here with this back Excalibur, considering it was ripping in the last battle with Ice Shards. It was just going off. Sword Sands, Ice Shard, Ice Shard, Ice Shard, Ice Shard off no problem no problem whatsoever let's see who our opponent is going to end up leading probably Rangaroo, right Rangaroo and Didi. yeah i kind of saw that coming and uh we're gonna lead these two which i'm cool with i mean trick room's probably gonna get set up here which is kind of tough but from here i could i'm not gonna tailwind uh tong can't come out here uh i guess we'll just foul play <clears throat> i guess we'll try to double down on Rangaroo. do i choice into a sucker punch here no, because of the what's it called? Because it might go for follow me, right? Yeah. So if I would have sucker punched there, I wouldn't have gotten off. So I can't taunt due to the train, which kind of sucks. So I'm just going to U-turn out here, and maybe this picks up the KO. This KO does not pick up the KO. I'm hitting hard, though. So I U-turn back. I am going to bring out my uh, my rock boy. And we'll kind of go from there. So we'll save back Scalibur. We'll try to waste out some trick room turns, and we'll go from there. So I bring out my Rock Boy. Foul Play is going to take out Ndidi. And he's going to get out whatever Pokemon he wants. Which, if I had to guess, is probably going to be the Torkoal, right? Torkoal or Annihilate. I, I can see the Torkoal coming out more so. But Annihilate could also come out here just due to the fact that it's Fighting type. And it could get some work done on my Rock Boy. Not my Rock Guy. Not my Rock Boy. But I know Oranguru also learns Follow Me. So he could be doubling down in the Follow Me Pokemon. And just trying to protect this next Pokemon. Which is the Torkoal. Which is indeed the Torkoal. It is the Torkoal. Um, I'm going to foul play in the Rangaroo. Oh, I could wide guard. I am going to wide guard. I totally forgot I had this. Light work wide guard. We're wasting out turns here. We came to waste out turns today. He's going to Terrasilize in the fire type. Probably, right? Makes the most sense. And we're just going to wide guard the shot. We're just going to wide guard the shot. There's got to be an eruption or a heat wave. Probably eruption, right? He's full HP. He's looking to just get some work done. But my boy says, hey, yo, hold up. Wait a minute. We got wide guard rocking. So we're going to wide guard this. Eruption, right? Let's go. Let's go. Big time eruption block here. We're wide guarding it. We'll see what he wants to do from here. We'll see. Because Murkrow can get some work done with foul play. Murkrow does a lot of work. He's going to instruct. That's fine, yo. We already have the wide guard set up. Right? Please tell me it blocks twice. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I never kind of hit that instance where it was like instructing. So I feel like I have to go into another wide guard. He's just going to instruct like that. So wide guard was a big play from us. Foul play is going to come across and do a decent amount of damage. So we're slowly chipping. We're slowly wasting out trick room turns. Um, I think we just foul play again. We go into another wide guard. I could protect. I could definitely protect. He could go into a solar beam here, which I don't really like. I'm gonna wide guard again. I'm gonna say he I'm gonna say he bites the bait and goes for another eruption. I'm gonna say he does it. I'm gonna say he does it. Good call from us. Good call from us. He didn't think he didn't think we had the moxie. The moxie to drop a double wide guard, but I'm all about it. I'm in this dude's head. I'm in this dude's head. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. And he's instructing again. He's just wasting turns at this point. He's just wasting turns. Is that thing choice? I think could definitely be choice. I don't know if I should wide guard again, though. I am not sure if I should wide guard again. But the trick and turns are being wasted, which is huge. And we are slowly doing damage to this uh, Oranguru. 
does have a berry, but I'm all about wasting these chicken turns. The real question is, what do we do now? How many turns left in Trick Room? Let's say two. Two turns left in Trick Room. I feel like I have to wide guard again, right? I feel like I have to. I have to. I'm going to wide guard again. I have the Moxie. He's probably sitting here like, he's not going to wide guard three times. We're wide guarding again. Give me no reason not to. Do it again. He does it again. Yo, we, we have the Moxie to wide guard. I'm loving it. This dude didn't think I was wide guarding again unless he's choice. But I'm all about it. I feel like he would have just swapped by now. He's instructing again, yo. We're just in this dude's head. He was sitting there. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to erupt and then wide guard on this guy. Or no, he's like, I'm going to erupt and then instruct on this dude. I'm just like, I'm just like hold up. I'm going to wide guard. And then he's sitting there. He's thinking, he's like, there's no way he's going to wide guard again, right? And I wide guard again. And then he's sitting there. No way he wide guards three times. And I did it again. I'm all about it. I'm in this dude's head. I'm gonna foul play. You know what I'm gonna do this time? I'm gonna salt here. It's like, nah, I got a Y guard here, right? I have the Y guard here. He's probably sitting there. He's not gonna Y guard four times in a row. I'm gonna Y guard four times in a row. I got the Moxie to do it. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. We're Y guarding again all day. All day, waste out these circum turns. Show me eruption. <laughs> Yo, he erupted again. I gotta check out this dude's team after this. This thing's gotta be choice, or we're just in this dude's head. Or oh, we are in this dude's head. We are in this dude's head. <laughs> Cause the thing is, he's definitely, I don't think he's, I don't think he's choice. I don't think he's choice spec. Trickrim's ending here. And we get rid of the Ranguru. And Sunzo missed on. Light work, light work. <laughs> I'm loving this, later Ranguru. I'm loving this. This is good for us. We're, we're killing it. I could swap it to the back caliber if I want to. Trick Room is gone. Trick Room is gone. And we, we took out both his Trick Room Pokemon. Love it. I love it. Killing it. Killing it right now. Killing it in this, the final battle. Letting this dude know. I got the Moxie, guys. I have it. I'm not afraid to drop four Y guards in a row. I'm not afraid to do it. I'm not afraid to do it. But the real question is, I don't think we uh, Y guard this turn. We have speed. And I think we just kind of just start getting after that Torkoal at this point. We're going to throw out his final Pokemon. It is going to be Sylveon here. And Sylveon's a high I guess. I guess we'll just uh, double down to Torkoal. Pop a Salt here. I it has Hyper Voice. Do I Wide Guard again? I can't. I'm not going to Wide Guard again. Let's see what he does. He just cancels battle. Wide Guard four times in a row equals dude Rage Quitting. Another great set of battles on the rank ladder with this Bax Caliber team. We didn't face the best of teams in today's video, but we played really well and got to showcase Bax Caliber, Miyas Karata, and the rest of the Pokemon to their fullest potential. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.